All right, folks, we're back here for another Walking Dead review, tackling episode 21 of the final season, season 11. This episode is titled Outpost 22. Now, folks, if this is your first time checking me out here on YouTube, hopefully you stick around, hopefully you subscribe, hit the notification bell. But uh, my reviews are spoiler free because I'm here to get you hyped and prepared for this week's episode of The Walking Dead. So yeah, this episode is titled Outpost 22, um, and the synopsis reads that separated from their children, our survivors track a military convoy to a mysterious destination. And the reason I wanted to read the synopsis here because I did not want to think that anything was a spoiler that I was gonna talk about here. But again, just in case you didn't hear me the first time, I'm here to get you hyper prepared for all things to come in this week's episode. So as all of the other episodes we always get that flashback moment of a particular character that we have grown with over the years today's episode um and focus is on maggie and maggie's journey has definitely been a wild one you know from the moment that lauren cohan left the show to the moment she came back uh you know everything with glenn i mean it's been a wild ride and you know losing glenn um and and, and sort of just that different and personality that came over her on that second half of the show i mean i mean when i say halves i mean from when she was here originally to when she came back that new mentality of maggie has been killer and it's always the one character that just always gets me the most hype because you just never know what she may do and i think she has one of the best scenes in all of the walking deads in a previous episode uh where even negan had to kind of look at her like whoop <laughs> if you know you know um so yeah in this one this episode picks up from everybody being scattered you know folks had been abducted um you know not knowing where they were at you know when we seen uh ezekiel sort of wake up he was on a bus and he was kind of looking like where am i at and that was the same for everybody everybody was all scattered out there was a couple of parents and whatnot but like everybody was separated and now that everyone is starting to regain consciousness Folks are trying to devise a plan, a plan for survival, uh, but also trying to figure out, like, how the hell did they even get in this position in the first place? So, you know, that's sort of the state of this is where you have the different folks who we have not yet seen, but you can assume that they have been uh, abducted um, and obviously by the Commonwealth and trying to figure out what's all going on outside of Daryl and Carol, who we know is free is aware that people have been abducted and working on the outside trying to free everyone so that they, they can get the team back together uh and more importantly as the synopsis read get their kids because if there's one thing you're not going to do you're not going to play around with somebody's kids so you could imagine the folks who is taking this a little bit more personal daryl rosita uh gabriel like <laughs> so yeah uh but anyway um like i said this episode does um kind of focus around Maggie. Maggie has had a long, long journey. And she deals with a lot of emotions in this episode. Um, some of them are sort of guilt and some of them are anger, as you could imagine. Uh, and, you know, this sort of mini arc in this episode dealing with Maggie is sort of kind of heartfelt because... You know, Maggie is a badass, but she definitely still has a heart. And you see that coming to play and can actually be uh, problematic for her, you know, in terms of survival. Because, you know, she, she still, no matter what you see in terms of her badassness, she still has a big heart and she always just wants to do the right thing. And I think that's sort of her, her journey in this episode is guilt um, by way of some events that happen. Um, but yeah, this episode gets very brutal very quick. <laughs> Expect to see some really crazy things very early. Um, Gabriel and Rosita, you know, it's been a while since we've seen the two of them kind of paired up doing their thing. And um, I love the I love the conversations, the scenes with them, um, the moments that they have keeping each other accountable um, and, and really showing us that they are a couple. I mean, we always know they are. We know they got a kid and whatnot. But, like, seeing them hold each other accountable uh, was really special to me. And there's sort of a lot of that kind of going on in this episode. Um, but, yeah, with everybody being kidnapped, the question is, like, what's what's next for them? Well, everybody is on the bottom of the totem pole, pretty much slaves. And they are now going to be 
a part of the rebuilding and the restarting of the new world. Tell me if you haven't heard this before. So, yeah, you know, the dark side of the Commonwealth is what we're being seen here. If you read the comments, you know, eventually this was all going to come about. Here we are. Um, so, yeah, everyone's separated. The Commonwealth, the bottom of the Commonwealth, the wasteland of the Commonwealth. <laughs> and then, you know, everybody's just trying to figure out where everybody's at and trying to come up with plans, both working internally. And when I mean internally from the folks who have been kidnapped and then externally from the folks who are free, trying to all get together and figure things out so that they can get their kids. That is the ultimate goal here. Now, I, you know, Daryl and Carol, as always, you know, the two of them working together is always special. Um, and this episode, again, is another display of how special the two of them are. Carol is definitely Daryl's safe space. It calms him, but I got to tell you, this entire episode, Daryl is just completely fed up. The entire episode, he's just fed up. So the moment that Carol grip slips a little bit, Daryl goes off the hinges. <laughs> Um, there was a really nice moment between Carol and Maggie. That was the moment that I was like, whew, loved it, loved it. Um, but anyway, everyone's trying to figure out, you know, where is the destination of where everyone's going? And as he said, this mysterious destination, I will say that this this, this mysterious destination is, um, well, sort of a familiar place. <laughs> and it's kind of, um, and it's not so welcoming this time. So there's that. Um, and, and obviously by the title, you could imagine that this mysterious destination probably has a link to the title in some sort. So I'll just say that. Um, and, and I think that, um, you know, I think there's a couple of other little surprises in the episode. There's two characters that have completely avoided each other for many years, finally happened to get on the same page. And it was a moment that I think we all been waiting for. And there is a wicked suicide in this episode like it was brutal i was like holy hell that was good so there's that but ultimately as this episode was more or less focused on maggie and i won't just say maggie as the character but maggie like the personality like really dealing with her emotions her psychology um just everything that she's sort of been through to the point that well as i talked a little bit about maggie in sort of a positive light this is not to say it's negative, but like, yeah, Maggie also gets fed up as well, too. And she's pissed off and she's ready to make everybody pay because that's the Maggie we know her to be. And after a while, you already knew at some point the eye of the storm was going to move. And that's the hurricane is back. So that's what's going on here. So overall, this episode was OK. Not a lot of action, a lot of heart, a lot of good moments, a lot of moments that we want as fans to kind of have see the curve. But like, you know, it still was about devising a plan to figure out what they were going to do to get everybody back together to then rescue the kids and the rest of the survivors. So there is that. So, yeah, check out Outpost 22, episode 21 of season 11. As always, folks, you know what it is. I'm here each and every week with your Walking Dead review, non-spoiler hype video to get you prepared for all things The Walking Dead. Thank you so much for tuning in for this one. We'll see you back very soon.